Hey fellow travelers, I'm here at the Anaheim Convention Center and this is my first Star Wars celebration uh, convention. Uh, missed the uh, one in Orlando when we entered the, uh, the fan film. Uh, those of you who might remember that one, uh, it was the, uh, how would you say it, the uh, solo uh, animated uh, short that was entered. Uh, it was, I believe it was screened in 3D and then later it, it got redone to where the 3D portion was taken out. It didn't really need it, uh, but uh, I could have gone to that one, but I had already gotten a job in visual effects at the time, so I couldn't make it. So after that, it's like, it, this convention goes all over the place, by the way. And it happened to be here in Anaheim this year and tickets were available. Now for Saturday, but I got one for Sunday. So I'm here on the last day. I worked uh, Thursday and Friday, so I kind of didn't want to take the days off for that. I'm already going to Comic-Con in July and going on those two days specifically. So I kind of didn't want to take too much time off from work. So I only bought the one day for uh, today, but it's kind of exciting. First time Star Wars celebration. Awesome. So this is the, like the autograph meet and greet section. I think the main exhibit hall is on the other side. So I made a left instead of a right, but that's okay because this too, it shows everyone who's here. That's pretty cool. And there's a TIE fighter. Here we go, the backside of TIE Fighter. met him 20 years ago, he was the fresh-faced bassist for a clone army. Now he's unmasked and taking his rightful place at the top of the Star Wars underworld. He's the baddest bounty hunter in the galaxy, Boba Fett himself! for coming. Thank, uh, on behalf of Ming Nao and myself, Ming Nao wanted to be here with me, but thank you for supporting the Book of Boba Fett. <laughs> and much love to all of you guys, and uh, ladies and uh, families. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I came the longest from New Zealand. <laughs> so, uh, so if you miss me here, come down to New Zealand. <laughs> Just say, Boba Fett sent you. Okay. And you're allowed into New Zealand, I said so, okay.
Boys and free my soul Wanna get lost in your rock and roll And drift away Right, and this is the line to get into this the celebration store. It's actually moving along. So it's not bad. Let's see what goodies they have once we get in there. So be it that I'm here on Sunday and the last day it might be the reason why there's not a lot of merchandise, but it kind of seems to me there wasn't a lot of merchandise here to begin with. Um, mostly t-shirts, which are over there in that section. And I uh, was lucky enough to get one of the uh, celebration ones, my size. After waiting for a while, someone came out and kind of restocked that section as I was getting ready to give up. So um, other than that, uh, really nothing else that interests me. Um, yeah, nothing too big and like i said maybe there was more stuff but being that i'm here on a on the last day it could be the reason why a lot of things are are might have sold out by now but the stuff that is left it's like it's really not significant i mean shouldn't really have expected a lot Hey fellow travelers, so uh, Star Wars Celebration, first time here, uh, it's been uh, kind of an experience, uh, kind of different from other events I've been to. Uh, definitely way different than, than Comic Con. I uh, was expecting it to be a little more like that, but it ended up being not. Um, it, it makes sense, it's, it's really centric about Star Wars, uh, as opposed to Comic Con, it's, it's a little bit of everything. I'm also used to being here at the Anaheim Convention Center for uh, uh, WonderCon, which is a, uh, an event owned by Comic-Con, and it's basically like Comic-Con, only a little smaller up here. So it's multi-genre, and it, you know, this uh, it felt a little weird uh, walking around a halls that, I, that I'm familiar with and I'm seeing only Star Wars stuff. Uh, it was cool, got to see uh, the actor that plays Boba Fett. He came out on the stage while well, we just happened to be there. They catch a swag, some a swag, some swag. It was a, a stress ball. Uh, just right timing, reached out, grabbed it as they were throwing it. So that was pretty cool. Uh, the, uh, the panel itself was pretty energetic, uh, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it, uh, but it was short. It was kind of like introdu introduction come out, a few questions really hyped and after that it was uh came over here to the um uh, uh celebration uh show shop and uh, not a lot of merchandise but i think it's because it's the last day it uh basically turned out that there wasn't that much stuff left so in that aspect this you know i i wasn't expecting to find a lot i did find a t-shirt i wanted uh my size after winning for a bid i got a lanyard the official lanyard because the ones they gave us uh, weren't the quite the official ones even though they do say Star Wars Celebration 
but the main one uh, was much nicer. I wanted to get that, so I bought one of those. Uh, the Mandalorian experience, uh, which is basically uh, the one thing that caught my attention. Unfortunately, the reservations for those ran out like long ago. Um, and, and that's the thing about attending the last time, the last day for the event is that it, once you get caught up with uh, the reservation system for the panels and all that, uh, everything's already booked because people that were here on, on Friday already caught up to that and everybody already made the reservations. So in that aspect, it was kind of eh. Now a celebration that convention I might be coming back to, I don't think so. Uh, the reason is because I, as much as I do like Star Wars, I like other sci-fi shows as well, like Stargate and Star Trek. So I would like to see a little bit of everything. Um, so hence why I'm really looking forward to going to Comic-Con in July because it's multi-genre, it's comic books, anime, a little bit of everything and Star Wars as well, so I'll be able to kind of enjoy a little bit of everything there is to enjoy about the things I like. A little, little, again, a little bit of everything. So, celebration itself, always wanted to do it, got to do it, got the t-shirt, I think I won't be coming back, so... I don't know, maybe if something really big happens in the Star Wars world that they'll definitely not showcase in Comic-Con, I might, but as of right now, I'm not making any future plans, so I know, a little disappointing uh, for me. I did enjoy it though, that one day, uh, wish there would have been more, but oh well, you know, we'll see in the future, maybe a few years down the road I might decide to come back, but for now, I am done.